And before we exit the room here, I want to leave you with one more thought that has to do with this sabotaging of self. It's one of the other things we picked up on the Ashambro radar screen, one of the other reasons you sabotage, meaning that you don't allow your self-completion, fulfillment, success. I'm going to speak somewhat metaphorically here, but, but actually there's a lot of reality to it. We've talked before about how you have a variety of different energies in you – the light, the dark, the yin, the yang, the masculine, the feminine. We're going to go back in this case to the story of Isis and Adam, which is basically the masculine and feminine within you. But I also want to use it to express another duality concept. That was the inward and the outward expressions of your soul. A long time ago, when you left all that was, when you went through the wall of fire on your journey that would bring you to earth, you created your original separation. And that created the inner looking spirit, which you now call your soul, your divine, and your outer expression, the part of you that would journey out into the void and create reality, the outer expression that would eventually come by way through the order of the ark to this planet Earth for completion and fulfillment. Using the concepts of duality, the metaphor, we'll talk about Isis and Adam, but understand it relates to the inner and the outer parts of self, the light and the dark, every, every opposing duality. When the energy of Adam left Isis, it created tremendous pain, for the two energies are essentially the same. They were always meant to be together. They were always in love. So when the separation occurred between Isis and Adam, you can imagine the pain that it caused. You can also imagine an anger that was caused as part of you left on a journey and left another part within itself has caused the pain of love and separation, but also you could say a type of anger. Why are you leaving? Why are you allowing the separation? So the energy of the masculine, of Adam, or the energy of the outer expression of self went off. Knowing both, both parts of you, knowing that you would return together at the right time and the right place. But as part of you, let's, let's call it the Adam energy. Adam went off searching. Adam went off looking for new solutions, all out of absolute love to Isis. He wanted to create a place that was so perfect that Isis would want to return. So Adam started what you could say building or constructing the perfect castle, the perfect home, the perfect space. And it was as he was building it through his imagination and his creative expression, he kept on wondering if Isis would really like it. Would she like the colors? Would she like the style? Well, he began to doubt himself tremendously. He wondered if Isis would be comfortable here. He wondered if he was just doing this for himself or, or if it would really be appropriate for Isis. He kept on wondering if Isis really missed him and really loved him. He kept on wondering if maybe this was a plot from Isis to get rid of him. He wondered at times if Isis was deliberately doing this to him to totally annihilate him, to enslave him, to make him insignificant. And you see this 
myriad of opposing energies was flowing through Adam all the time while he was working on building this perfect dream castle for Isis. Of course, the castle has never been good enough. Oh, it is spectacular in my opinion, but Adam is still working on it. It's the castle that can never be completed, because, dear Shambra, in the somewhat imbalanced heart of Adam, he fears most of inviting Isis in and her not accepting it. That means her not accepting him. That means no reunion. That means no going forward. So if he keeps building his castle, he keeps modifying it, and he keeps doubting himself, he keeps playing the game, he never has to face the question, is he worthy of Isis's return? Is he worthy? And Isis all this time is wondering, what happened to Adam? Why hasn't he called? Maybe he doesn't love me anymore. Maybe he's found another. Maybe he's betrayed me. Maybe he's trying to assume and collect power. Maybe he's trying to totally annihilate me. Maybe I'm not beautiful enough for him. Maybe he's discovered something within himself that has higher qualities than I. Maybe I'm not worthy of ever receiving the love of Adam. Maybe I'll turn my back. I'll hide my tears so I never have to face the issue. Is Adam calling out for me? Is he welcoming back me back to him? So I'll keep myself distracted. I'll do everything but look. Dear Shambra, it's the story of Isis and Adam, and it's also your story. It's a story of your inward and outer expression. It's a story of the human self and the divine. Maybe you don't think you're worthy, that you've built a good enough house for your divine to join you here, so you keep trying to build the house. Maybe your Divine right now at this moment is wondering, how come I haven't received the call? How come I'm not being invited in to this holy, sacred place called the human existence? Maybe the Divine is thinking that you betrayed it. So this game continues. The deception continues. And the separation continues. Because what if, just what if, the human didn't like the divine? What if it was disappointed with the most intimate part of itself, but it had so many experiences and so many loves in all of its lifetimes that it doesn't want itself anymore? What if? You face some of the most important issues in your existence right now. You face the issues of completion and of acceptance. The big dark energy rolls in right now and says, What if the Divine doesn't like me? What if it thinks I built a crappy house? that I'm not worthy, that what if the Divine comes in and tells me I have at least another dozen lifetimes before it'll even consider? And that's the sabotage. It is artificial, and those of us who are sitting in our own third circle can tell you it is the biggest delusion and deception that you'll ever give yourself, but it's also the biggest gift. 